hello guys welcome to the continuation of our last tutorial so this is the fitting on my client's body it fits her perfectly and this is her first fitting though so guys this is what we'll be learning how to make the continuation the back part you know and the slits let's get started so this is the back piece the lining back piece so i'm going to be putting our star lines for the boning so they are two two inches space apart and i have three on each lining so i'm going to be cutting the boning right now and the boning will not get to the waist length I think 0 0.75 before the waist length and also at the upper parts 0 0.75 because you don't need your boning to get exactly to that point if not to start um, affecting your client or yourself when you wear it so I'm going to be cutting all the boning for the two lining after that I will iron it properly you have to iron your boning then you sew then I so on two two instead of three just watch what i do and the next thing is for me to take my back yoke and i'm going to be sewing it on the actual fabric this time around the boning is not on the actual fabric it is on the lining so i'm going to be sewing with 0 0.25 then after that i will now take the lining and i will sew the top that way with with half inch then i will also sew the sides the way this the part that i'm touching so guys after sewing i went ahead to iron iron it and the only part i did not sew is the center the center back because we'll be putting a casing a casing so i'm taking my fabric and i'm going to measure the length of my center back whatever i have there i'm going to add ex excess allowance so the total of what i cut is 22 inches that's 11 for one center back and 11 inches length for the center for the second center back so i'm going to gum it with a paper gum this is just to make our back very thick because some people find it um, difficult i don't know if they when they fix their eyelids that back always i don't know their eyelids will be pulling out it will not hold it properly so this is just another way to avoid all that now i went ahead to cut out five inches so unfold will be two and a half now i'm going to be folding it half half inch on the upper parts and this like that so after that i iron it this is what i mean by saying i'm going to be folding it after doing that i'm just going to cut it into two because we need two pieces then the next thing is to take one side of your back and you are going to open the casing like that and you place your back piece on it making sure it touches where the crease line that ironing line is the next thing you put your bone in there yes and you also place your bone in i'm just trying to show you what we are trying to do now if you are putting the second bone in don't let it get to that edge because you close the casing and you don't want your boning to you know obstruct you when you are sewing so this is the second bag i'm still repeating the same process place your boning that way and you're going to be sewing on the two side of the boning you place the second one and you would also sew 
so mate this is it after sewing then you're going to turn your casing like that and you sew on that edge so very close to the upper part do the same thing for the second side sew on it this is it after sewing it and i'm going to be cutting off out of it then you will now turn it i went ahead to turn it after turning it then i'm going to be sewing on that edge just to secure it down i'll do the same thing for the second side now i have sew that we have our boning in place so this is how the back is looking like so whatever sewing stitch is only showing on the back side not on the front this process is very 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 fine and makes your work very neat we are going to be taking our skirt part yes we all know how to cut a mermaid skirt so many of you have watched that tutorial on my channel so you take your back piece bow lining and the actual fabric and you are going to be placing them together i went down by one and a half inch and i connect it to where my seam allowance get to So I'm cutting off that one and half. This part, this pattern is just for you to avoid any gaping at your back. So guys, after doing that, we are going to be sewing our back piece now. And you take one of the the actual fabric lose the zip allowance because i like ironing my zip so that i can get my line then from the zip when we're drafting we cut off one and a half inch from the waistline we could remember measure your one and a half inch and you place the one and a half on that part so you are going to sew this is me using my pins to hold it down now for the second side repeat the same process from your zip allowance measure your one and a half inches for your eyelet spacing on that part then you start sewing so you're going to sew with 0 0.25 before you use a lining to turn it so guys after sewing it this is how this is how our back is going to look like now the next thing is to take lining and you'll be turning it with half inch so you place your lining that way and you're going to sew with half inch now so mid i finished sewing the lining then i realized i wanted to put a plastic boning inside our regimen boning so that we can have a very strong you know boning channel and very strong back so i went ahead to cut my plastic boning i cut four remember the two regional boning we just sewed on that casing we're going to be putting plastic boning inside so i like um using nephi to file the edge of my plastic boning instead of uh, burning it or gumming or using maxing tape for the tip after doing that now I'm placing 
the plastic bone in inside the virginal bone when you sew very close like to the at the tip of the virginal bone in you have enough space for your plastic bone in to go in so i did that for the second one so i'm going to repeat the same process for the second back So if you are buying your plastic bone, always buy the one that is smaller than the reginine bone and they have different sizes in the market so that it can go inside your sewable bone. So after that, I'll close it back. I was supposed to do that before I use the lining to turn the actual fabric. Now this is it. I went ahead to sew it back. Now we have a very strong structure at our back. The next thing is that I'm going to be sewing the zip allowance. You can see the way I turn it. Actual fabric to lining, right side facing right side. I'm going to be sewing with 0 0.25. Since my zip allowance is one inch, I'll sew with 0 0.25 so that I'll have 0 0.75 left for fixing my zip. Now sew it. I did that for the two side for the I sew the two side then I pulled it out from the down part now the down part I cut the lining one inch shorter than the actual fabric and I did not use it to turn it because this is a flay I don't want the edge to to be bulky so I just folded the edges like that way so when I seal the two sides, like sewing this zip side and the other side, I just turn it out from the from the down. Now for the front, I went ahead to also sew the M line, just the way I did for the back pattern. I did that for the lining as well. Now we are going to be putting front slits. So you have to indi you indicate if you want your slit to be on the right or on the left. Now for this client, she says she wants her slit to be on the right. So after getting my knee line, the knee line, I went up by, by one inch. But before that, I'm going to be marking four inches from the center line. That four inches is her dart. A nipple to nipple measurement so if yours is three and a half you measure three and a half if yours is five inches you measure five inches so guys i now rolled a straight line all the way down so from the knee line i'm going to be going up by by one inch you can choose to go up more than that it depends on the length of your slits how you want your slits to get to then you take your scissors and cut it all the way to that one inch then you stop so that is how to get your slits for your skirt i repeat the same process on the lining because we'll be using the lining to turn it from that slit area So I'm going to be placing the lining and the actual fabric right side to right side. Then I will sew that slit side with 0 0.25. After sewing, you can see I was telling you my lining is one inch shorter than the main length of the fabric. So guys, after sewing, you notch that point. You have to notch so that when you iron it everything would be smooth then i'm also going to be sewing the two sides i'll sew this two side now for this front piece i'm turning it out from the upper part but the back piece was from the down part but because of that slit we sew you have to turn it from the upper part so this is it 
have ironed it and it's looking all neat and fine. Then I also use my stitch to sew the upper part together with the lining. So now I'm taking the front piece, or the upper part of the front, and you're going to be placing the skirt part on it. So you have to notch all your center, the middle line, so that when you are sewing, everything will be okay. Now after sewing it, this is how it is. Don't mind me, my iron burnt the net, but I had to do something there, so my client did not even know that it got burnt. Now the next thing is to take the shoulder to shoulder. That's why I said you are not going to sew the shoulder and the arm or so you can turn it together. So you open your shoulder, open the second one, make sure the center line matches, then you sew with half inch. After sewing the shoulder, now for the draping parts, that's the mesh, yes. So I just took, I cut any length that I want and the width. So I just use my paints to place it on the side of the upper part that way. Just the way you see it like that. I just place it like drape. Then that's for the front. Now for the back. Now remember our back case, that line, that is where I'm going to be sewing this on it. So take the same thing you did for the front, the same, another mesh, yeah. So I place it on it and I also pin it down. So, so that is what I did. I'm just showing you the end product. So this is me using my pins to... To drape the mesh on the back part that's sewing line at the back for the casing then I sew on top of it yes yeah, so I've, I went ahead to sew it guys and I'm removing the pins so for the back also I've also sew it and I'm also removing the pin so this is how it is looking like Now I'm using my scissors to trim off the excess mesh. You have to trim very close to your stitch. So this is how this is how it is, guys. I also did that for the front part. And next thing is to sew our side. But before we sew the back and the front together, I'm using my pins to just pin the drip on the bust area so that I don't have to sew my mesh wrongly. Now, placing the front and the back together, remember when we were drafting, it was one and a half inch I added for the upper part. And I sew it with the side by 0 0.25. So I have 1.25 left now the lining the skirt parts I think I added to two and a half inch sewing allowance. I didn't even know why I did that That's why the skirt part allowance is bigger after sewing the sides This is how It is so the next thing is to sew our zip so you are going to take the Your material and you fold them together now I said what I have left for the zip is 0 0.75 so you're going to sew I think I went down by one inch below the hip line then I sew the zip and I also sew the rest down after sewing guys this is how it is yeah then I went ahead to just fix a flounce just by the side and I use a cup chain to design it then i also tie the mesh at the upper part guys if you find this tutorial helpful kindly like this video now this is our back parts i also fix the eyelids it's so beautiful bye